Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. Astronomers working with the Hubble Space Telescope are expressing their complete bafflement over a recently observed asteroid's behavior. The asteroid P2013 P5 has astonished scientists with an unprecedented display of six comet-like tails. Adding further astonishment, the astronomers observed that the object's tail structures dramatically changed over just 13 days. Lead investigator David Jewett states, We were literally dumbfounded when we saw it. Even more amazing, its tail structures changed dramatically in just 13 days as it belches out dust. That also caught us by surprise. It's hard to believe we're looking at an asteroid. The investigators suggest that an increase in the asteroid's rotation rate could be causing material to fly off from its surface, somehow creating the astonishing comet-like tails. However, to proponents of the electric universe, a more fundamental reconsideration of theory is now required. The standard explanation of the asteroid P2013 P5's dust tails is that it must be spinning fast enough to remove material from its surface. Now, this sounds pretty far-fetched because there's no real answer as to why it should be ejecting dust now and not at some earlier times or not continuously. This requires other ad hocery in terms of material being knocked off it, bumped into, all of this kind of things. And then, of course, these tails are supposed to have been stretched out by radiation pressure from the sun. But we have seen images from the Hubble Space Telescope of fine filamentary tails, up to six of them from this particular asteroid. How exactly does pressure from the sun produce these fine filaments? You'd expect it would tend to disperse it like smoke in the wind. This news story is based on the assumed differences between comets and asteroids. And so it's not surprising to me that the astronomers were dumbfounded when they saw cometary behavior from an asteroid. Because the traditional story is that comets are formed from the same materials that formed the sun and the planets from a cloud of dust and gas. The asteroids, on the other hand, are supposed to be shattered planetesimals, that is, planets that were being gradually accumulated from this dust and gas, which collided with other objects of the same kind and which were then shattered into pieces. And so the asteroids are often called minor planets because some of them are quite large, but they also range right down to the size of comets. Now, the difference between the electrical model of the origins of comets and asteroids is it's a much simpler story. The standard story really has been disconfirmed or negated by the evidence that's been accumulated in the space age, but that is never acknowledged. Always the idea is that even though you may be dumbfounded by the observations, you always go back to that original story of the formation of the solar system. Everyone's seen that on television. You see the uh, great cloud of dust and gas with minor objects, meteoroid, meteoroids and uh, asteroidal bodies floating around in space. But nobody has been able to show how you turn that from a disk of dust and rubbish into a small number of large planets isolated by vast distances in space in the solar system. The electric universe model is very much simpler. It's almost biological in its overtones. And that is that stars and large gas giants are formed in what could be termed a cosmic lightning bolt in a dusty cloud. The electric universe theory states that comets, asteroids, and meteors were electrically machined from planetary surfaces in the relatively recent past. Comets and asteroids thus have similar physical compositions, and the electrical theory of comets is the key to understanding the occasional cometary displays from asteroids. The electrical model of comets has said for decades that there is no real distinction between asteroids and comets, and here we have an asteroid that has now officially been renamed as a comet. In the Astrophysical Journal Letters, it is now dubbed the Main Belt Comet P2013 P5. It's been known for decades that asteroids occasionally show cometary features. For instance, Chiron, which is quite a large asteroid, has on occasion shown a coma, that is, a glowing shell around it, rather like the coma of a comet. 
and occasionally we have seen minor dusty tails. But the point is, I think, that astronomers are dumbfounded by this new asteroid simply because the question of why asteroids should show cometary features in the outer solar system has never been answered, or it hasn't been questioned enough to even begin to provide an answer. In the Electric Universe model, an asteroid in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter will, over a period of time, achieve the same electrical potential as the plasma that it's moving through. Now, if that asteroid has a rather cometary orbit, that is, that it swings between an orbit out towards Jupiter and one in towards the Earth, that asteroid will encounter a different electrical potential as it moves over that vast distance. The Hubble Space Telescope has been trained on this particular asteroid and it has found, according to the astronomers, an even more amazing thing that its tail structures have changed dramatically in just 13 days. This is the kind of thing that comets do. So the question is, why is there this distinction between asteroids and comets? The only real distinction is the form of their orbits. Comets sweep in close to the sun and out again to the outer reaches of the solar system. Asteroids don't move a great deal between the outer reaches and the inner reaches of the solar system. That's the only real difference. And the fact that the comets have such a display and that asteroids don't is merely down to the fact that the Sun is a charged object in the solar system and an asteroid or a comet approaching it rapidly will encounter a change in the electrical environment such that it will begin to discharge. It is a long-held position of the electric universe that asteroids on an elliptical orbit that brings them close to the Sun will be likely to display comet-like characteristics. Like the recent asteroid 3200 Phaethon, which approached the Sun to a distance less than 15 solar diameters and produced unexpected brightening and a 250,000 kilometer dust tail in a single day. However, this does not apply to the asteroid slash comet P2013 P5 because its orbital eccentricity is minimal. But irrespective of an asteroid's orbital eccentricity, it will move through an environment of varying electrical conditions with the potential to affect its behavior. Back in the 1980s, the arrival of asteroid 2201 Oliato inside the orbit of Venus heralded a flurry of magnetic activity. Now, Dr. Christopher Russell, who presented this information at a European Planetary Science Congress, pointed out that each time this asteroid passes between the Sun and Venus, there are marked increases in unusual magnetic peaks known as interplanetary field enhancements. Now, an increase, sudden increase in magnetic field and field changes are typical of the tails of comets. In other words, what we're looking at here is electric current filaments between the asteroid and the planet Venus. Now, these kinds of things have also been discovered between Venus and the Earth, so it stretches over that distance as well. And that, at that time, the plasma effects were called stringy things because scientists do not recognise current filaments in space plasma. Some comets have had their tails detected by spacecraft stretching right across the solar system. So here we have another effect other than just the orbital motion of a body towards and away from the Sun that can have an electrical impact on some other body in the solar system. In the case of Mars, for instance, when Mars is in a line behind the Earth from the Sun, there are electrical effects which can cause global dust storms. And also another phenomenon that's been known for a very long time, known as the blue clearing on Mars, where Mars observed through a blue filter, suddenly you can see the surface features when Mars is behind the Earth, shielded from the Sun. So when you get an asteroid like P2013 P5 with an orbit which is outside Mars and doesn't approach much closer than the Martian orbit, the fact that it's displaying cometary-like features is not so surprising because these electrical disturbances can be created by other bodies between the Sun and the asteroid. And they can be created by the Sun itself, as we have sometimes seen with comets flaring up even beyond Saturn's orbit. This latest story points out the problems we humans have in doing science. The scientific method is a set of ideals, a dispassionate search for the truth, which is rarely, if ever, achieved. The fact is that we humans are better storytellers than we are scientists. The stories that we are taught when young are very difficult to shift, 
and we cling to them sometimes with such ferocity that people are prepared to go to war over differences in these stories. And unfortunately, it does seem that science does not progress as rapidly as it might if the ideals of the scientific method were adhered to. For continuous updates on space news from the Electric Universe, stay tuned to thunderbolts.info.